Hey everyone, how are you and what is up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my live streams, welcome to my live stream. I haven't done one of these in quite some time now, but I figured today would be a awesome day to just come on and do some art stuff. So that is what I plan to do. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little worse. I was sick yesterday, and now today I'm just trying to take it easy. The last two days I was working on my eBay store, which has been going, like, really fairly well. I'm very lucky to have, like, great people who follow me over there and purchase for me. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing well at that. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you guys? So... If you haven't been over there, if you go, I don't know why it doesn't come up on eBay, but if you Google Vintage Girl 50100, girl with a U, I pop up and there's my eBay. And then also I've been trying to put a lot of work into my Patreon. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon. The link will be in the description box of this video once I'm done streaming it, but it also is in all of my old video description boxes. So I've been working over there, but today, since Valentine's Day is tomorrow, I figured we would work on this shoe. So I had this pair of shoes I got at the thrift store a long time ago, and I was like, eh, I don't really like them on me. They were uncomfortable. They didn't fit very well true to size. So I figured, why not paint them, give them a little decoupaging as you could see I already started adding to them I'm doing the inside black and I'm not sure what you could put in here um maybe like jewelry I was thinking like a mini wine <laughs> if you wanted so the bottom two is gonna get painted white I think would be pretty and then I'll have this up on my eBay. That's the only place two people are asking where I all sell my art. eBay is the only place I sell everything and anything. But I do post my art, my photo shoot pics on there. I just prefer it. Etsy has a lot of fees that I don't care for. eBay has great perks. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Gosh. Anyways, so yeah, that is what I'm doing. I'm just having a nice chill art day. I had, I kid you not, and if you've been following my vlog channel, I've been updating on there if you haven't seen that. Finally, getting caught up with that stuff. I've been trying to post my TikToks on here. They're not letting me. I don't know why. I keep saying blocked worldwide. I have no idea. YouTube's being crazy, but probably because of policy changes and audio and all that stupid crap. But, um, yeah, I've been busting, but I had a pile, and I'm telling you, like, a pile of stuff that I wanted to get rid of, like, my own stuff, some clothes, so I made a bunch of clothes bundles on my eBay. I know I wanted to do a closet tour for you guys, I asked that on a poll on my community page, and we are going to be doing a closet tour, uh, it's just been super, or, like, clothes tour sort of thing. It's just been super crazy lately. Uh, as you know, this year my boyfriend moved in. So we're only on space. So we have our apartment. So it's just been wild. So I thought today, why not go ahead and do some painting on this? Maybe finish one. I have my glue gun plugged in. So. By the time I'm done messing around painting on here, I can start gluing more little gems and stuff onto the shoe. Yeah, everything lately has been coming together, and I'm just so happy. It's really, like, it's hard, because I love making YouTube videos, but, like, the payout is not there. So, kind of, Patreon helps with that, but then... I, like, lost a couple people over there because, to be honest, they're just kind of, like, vulgar. Like, I post what I'm comfortable with. Sometimes, like, 
swimsuit, what questionable stuff if I get something cute. But then, like, I'm not, ha like, naked. Like, yeah, partially, but not, like, like my photo shoot pictures that I take with my photographer, but not, like, naked. And some people are, like, really pushy for that stuff. And I obviously don't want people bully me. So I lost some people over there. And then for people who just, like, are there to support me, I have a dollar daily newsletter that I put out every day. And sometimes I'll just update during the day, like, what's going on if I'm getting shut down for once. And so forth. I got business cards made too, so anybody who purchases a piece of art from my eBay will get a business card. I thought that was all exciting because I want to do some craft shows this year, so I was like, might as well have a business card. I literally wrote on it, search on Google, because that's how my eBay popped up. It's so weird, but I like eBay. I don't really have issues with them. I did in the beginning, but once you, like, keep selling with them and you stick with it, like, your perks get really great over time. So. I don't think, to be honest, Etsy gives you any kind of perks at all. Uh, eBay gives you, like, 50 free listings a month. Randomly, the other day, I got 100 free listings out of nowhere. Like, they're really cool. I am painting a commission piece. I love crafting with you. I was showing my wife your art yesterday and telling her I wanted a piece. Bless you times great. Thank you. And all of you are so sweet. I I love doing these craft videos. It just took a while for us to like set up the room the way that we wanted it. I didn't know if people still wanted the craft videos. I've been obviously like crafting on my own making little stuff as you guys saw from my little art gallery video that I made. But uh, yeah. I like crafting with you guys. It's something I really do enjoy doing on my channel. And I wish I did it more like every day. That's the thing. It's like if I could just make money doing this. And then maybe part time work instead of full time. I'd be so happy. But maybe someday. Like I said YouTube is just not the payout anymore. I was hoping to see and I think that's how a lot of creators feel it's definitely not just me but I've seen those videos like last year already and the year before that my thing has just been like this year I'm really like seeing that and it sucks but I love how Trisha Paytas actually put it she said like this is my like company I work for YouTube is like a business and she's like Sometimes the business policies change, they need you to do different things, and you have to, like, grow and adapt to that. But it doesn't mean on your own you can't do what you want to do as well. So. That's basically how I think of it. And I haven't been making too many TikToks lately. I don't know. I've been slightly, my mental health has been weird. A little depressed here and there. Um, my illness was really giving me issues last week, like to the max. And uh, it's obviously not fun. So stressing me out. I don't know if I should paint the whole inside of the shoe black. Hmm. That would make it easier on me. Like the inside skirt part. I think I might do that. Just to give like a nice hollow effect to it. Thank you for the thumbs up whoever that was. I love crafting your get ready with me. I feel like I haven't done get ready with me in a while either. Because like there's just a lot of background noise going on. A lot of the time now in my room as well. But I'll have some coming up. Definitely in March because I have convention I'm going to that I look forward to every year so I'm super excited to go to that I'm trying to save up money for the convention at the moment and then I almost have money for my car getting there because my transmission went in August and we are in freaking February so So yeah, I thought that'd be fun. 
I love the tattoo convention. I don't know how I'm going to get there, though, because I don't think I'll have my car by then. Because I'm using some of my tax refund for my car. As probably millions of people do. And, um, yeah, I might take an Uber. And an Uber to get there is Gertie Books, which is crazy, actually. My opinion, ridiculous. But I got to get there. And it's not local. Or I can make my boyfriend go. But I'm the type of person, I love to, like, walk around and look at everything and stuff like that. And I feel like he would rush me to look at it. So we don't know. We'll see. I feel like I've lately, though, been very into, like... Oh, by the way, if you don't have, um... If, I don't know why I said if you don't have. Do you have Pinterest? Because I have Pinterest. And I'm going to start linking in my description because I've been messing around over there. I'm doing, like, a uh, board of my tattoos on my leg because I've just been so tattoo-obsessed lately. So I was trying to take, like, really nice pictures on my phone last night, which I should try to do today because it's a light out, but I'm too sucked into what I'm doing right now. But, yeah, I just, I'm so into tattoos lately. That's the convention I'm going to, by the way. It's a tattoo convention. And I feel like last year when everything was obviously like going well in my life, I was like so into collecting them and like what's going to be my next. And I'm kind of still like that. I just know I can't actually do it. There was one I really wanted on my ankle and it was really affordable and you know, when you're, like, hard up for money and doing bills, that's what matters, so. But it's okay to dream. I'm probably going to Mod Podge the inside of this as well because Mod Podge makes everything kind of like harder and I would love to make this all like a matte hard inside rather be kind of like flimsy-ish. These were Charlotte Russe shoes before, not like it matters now, but if you are wondering, got them at the thrifty. I was going to go to the thrift yesterday. Uh, to get some stuff, look around for my shop. Just, oh my god, I was so freaking exhausted. I was like, this is not happening. I just did not feel well. I got a little sick in the toilet, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna spare you the deets. So, my pain just gets so out of hand sometimes. That, that's the only way that I'm kind of like, all right, let's take a minute and just do that and maybe I'll feel better. And I normally like, do, which is weird. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay. Anybody doing anything fun today? It's like partly cloudy, rainy here. Gross out. Not nice at all. No, no, no. Body kind of hurts, but hey, that's why we're doing fun stuff inside you know what I mean on a rainy crappy day I love this so this is cute so there's my inside I know for a fact that glue gun yep is actually like very hot right now so we can start decorating the shoe more that'd be fun tattoos so I got anxiety, basically, like I had it all my life, but I didn't realize I had it, which I felt like I was in the clear until I realized I had it, and now I'm screwed. Sorry, I'm stretching my leg out. But, um, what is sticking to my leg? Um, my anxiety is like weird with things. I more have anxiety about like people than um, like myself, which is odd. It, I think it really depends where you're getting tattoo. If you're worried about like pain or how it feels, 
and normally if it is painful in whatever spot I'm getting, like this for instance, I kind of just try to remind myself this is going to go as quick as whoever's working on me can go. They're going to try not to hurt me, obviously, if they see I'm uncomfortable, and I know I'm going to be leaving with like a freaking awesome piece of work, so my heater's on, I feel it back there, it's nice. Anyways, um, yeah, I try to, that's how I try to calm myself down before going, but I think because, like, once you get that first one, and you know what it feels like, just with anything, I don't know, then everything's a lot better. Because I guess, you know, what you're stepping into. <laughs> Seattle sounds fun. Thank you for sharing it to Facebook. <coughs> Excuse me. I appreciate that. Oh, shit. I just touched you inside. No. It's okay, but look at my finger. <laughs> You know what you do? You just rub it in like it's lotion. That's normally what I do. Oh well. It'll come off later when I'm not busy. Alright, I'm gonna put it on its side so I don't mess anything up on it more. On the inside. I'm gonna add this little pearl to it. I found a little pearl over there before. I should have grabbed it. I had this big bag of like little odds and ends and I was gonna get rid of it and sell it in like a Facebook lot with a bunch of other crafting stuff but I decided to give it one more glance look through and I'm finding a lot of stuff that I'm using so that's good. I have like stuff laying, I know you can't see it, but all around me on the sides. odds and ends for crafting and then half finished projects when's the computer turn on turn on I wanted to check the time uh yeah I have a table right here with a bunch of half finished projects I'm like oh my god if I'm good at one thing in my life I think it's half finished projects and I do finish them sometimes surprisingly um the longest has been like a year later which is kind of ridiculous but hey, it is what it is. I just thought it would be fun to do like a little Valentine's Day live project with you. But also I have a Valentine's Day craft video. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. I made it in January, not even gonna front. And I was like, oh, this is, cause it was like Valentine's Day. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be so fun to like show. And it's like half edited. So I have to finish that and I'll have that up probably tomorrow. Maybe I'll even put it up today. And why am I holding the inside again, Gabby? You don't learn. Shit. I just like smeared it. I guess I'll just have to touch up whatever I'm messing up. It is what it is. I don't know if you can hear my heater going. It's so nice and warm though. <laughs> Sorry if it's irritating, but feels nice to me and yes that's sonic on my shirt there's a new sonic movie not sponsored whatsoever uh i just like sonic does anybody else like sonic he's cute it's like childhood sort of for me which is weird but it kind of is that fits there really nicely Kind of regret doing the inside, but hey, the paint will dry quickly. Get a heater going. I was gonna say my fan's going, but I looked up and the fan is not going. Boyfriend always puts it on high and I just like die. I'm like, can you just not? Can you just put it on maybe a uh, low? I feel like TikTok's dying though, cause like wanna like, 300k creators that I follow he was like maybe I don't know if you watch TikTok his name's Clay Baby he's hilarious he makes these like Walmart parodies it's really funny anyways 
uh, he's leaving and he's like, I'm just going to be on YouTube as my platform. Because, I don't know, TikTok is just being, like, weird lately. They changed their algorithm or however the hell you say that shit. And it's just been odd. Like, the views even, I see that on my channel on there. Just, I don't know, it's just weird. I don't get the traffic I used to. And I'm not, like, doing anything different. I am now. I'm not posting as much. But also, like I said, last week was a rough week. So... But I am not like quitting TikTok. I love TikTok. I want to make it to 100k so bad. I want to be one of those people who get like a cake and stuff. And they're like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> it's like exciting. My hard work. Look how cute this is. It looks like little pixie fairy dust or something. I kind of want to put the whole bottle on there. It's like whimsical. It's fun. Yeah, let's do it. But I want to seal it shut. I'll just get glue on my finger. It's craft time with Gab. <laughs> Literally. I don't know. Like, I'm weird. Sometimes I like crafting by myself. Like, I'll be like, eh, I'm going to live stream. And I'm like, ooh, Dr. Phil YouTube spree. And I just end up, what I just said, watching Dr. U Dr. YouTube. <laughs> Dr. Phil <laughs> on YouTube. And crafting and listening to people's problems. I'm like, wow, I'm not as messed up as some of these people. Makes me feel good. There's like a bunch of new ones I have to watch too on there. They were popping up so later on when I'm laying in my bed or doing whatever. Just plop that on and enjoy it. See what's going on. These are really pretty. Those pearls, the gray ones. This is a pretty stone. I love layering. As you can see, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. The elephant in the back. I've been working on for quite some time. I made the elephant out of paper mache. And then I kind of went crazy with just like bedazzling it with little odds and ends and toys. So one day that will be done. I have a second shoe. But it's n nothing like this. It's more like, I don't know. There's like not a lot on it. So I won't show it to you yet. I have it put away. But um, yeah, this is really cool. I'll put it down more so you can see it. There's the eyes, the trunk. It still has a lot of like, spacing and I got a cover on it but it's all good it looks cool this is almost done I am so excited every time I do I'm sorry I have to keep stretching out my legs are killing me every time I end up going on here to do crafts going on here well sitting this is my craft area sitting in this craft area is what I mean I sound like I'm YouTube again all the time I craft like I said I need to get back to that that was always fun but I add to this this is one of my art pieces teacup baby head <laughs> I'm just adding flowers to the bottom so I need like one more right there it's looking like and then I have some leaves to add I've been using some good old e6000 for that okay let's see this nice little flower I'm gonna put right there the e6000 to clean up with the head a little bit with like a wet wipe. I went through one E6000 already on some stuff I've been working on. I gotta get to the art store again. But shit, 
I was gonna say money's been tight. This just fell out. No. Oh my god. No. Where is it? This is like the perfect little flower for it. Just gotta stick it through that hole before the glue starts going on my floor. Dang it. There we go. The, like a little metal piece fell out. Okay. E6000 is my favorite glue. Works so nicely. I'm just trying to spread it out onto it real cutely, like that. And then I'm gonna lay it in the corner to probably sit till like tomorrow. And then I'll mod podge different pieces of it again clean the face off like I said and that will be listed on eBay in March but I oh shit I am getting glue on the floor no um ow fuck there's just so many art projects and I'm cracking myself off them what was I gonna say oh I have somebody broke in to my art account and I can't use it anymore like my selling account on Instagram and I use PayPal through that. So if somebody's interested in something, I could do it through PayPal before it's on eBay. Because I have to wait till I get my free listing. Like I said, I sometimes get like random ones, but I normally just wait. And if somebody really wants something, because eBay's through PayPal, so it's like, do PayPal. I have a lady I have to check back with tomorrow on Facebook yard sales because she's interested in buying I forget what the hell she wanted oh two Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs little stuffed animals and then I had another lady buy three stuffed animals Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs I've been trying to get rid of forever and um she said she was having like issues paying or something or this and that so I was like okay like I don't have like a line out the door for them, so I was like, I'll just wait till the money goes through. But she was like, it should go for in two days, which was the other day, which made me feel like she did get paid till that day and she just made up an excuse, so I'd hold it for her, which was like, whatever, that's her prerogative. But <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I wish she would have just been like, yeah, I don't get paid till Friday. Then I would have been like, oh, I'll hold it. But like, she made up an elaborate story, so I was like, whatever. You do you. I'm just over here selling shit. By the way, everything is shit. I'm shit. I use the word shit for everything. I have, I think, good products. I have good stuff. If you never just looked at any of the stuff I sell on eBay. I also sell on Facebook yard sales. Which you would think you get like a lot of local people that way. Um, no. I still end up selling stuff through like PayPal. Achoo! Achoo! Shit. I have like a weird chill today. I don't get it. Oh well. Anyways, yeah, so I hate that feeling where you try to like save your money, which I've been doing, which obviously has been going great because you have to have money, save money. And my only job right now is just <coughs> selling online, which sucks. But like I said, it's hit or miss. Anyways, um, so I finally like caught myself up or whatever but I haven't been looking at like dolls kill or any stuff I love to look at so when I do look at it then I'm like oh my god I feel like I missed out on so much or like so many cute odds and ends 
I love flash pieces of like tattoo work. So I was looking at some of the artists who I've gone to or just like looking at their work, you know, in general. And a lot of them had really cool flash stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, is that taken? Is that taken? Like, uh. But then again, I'm happy because I'm like, oh, I still have the space or like, you know what I mean? I have so much stuff I want to add on to that I need to fix an add-on before I get any new ones, I feel like. Eventually, maybe I'll do like a tattoo, tattoo, oh my god, tattoo tour video because I think the last one I did for you guys was like my split personality alien Gemini head. Oh my god. My legs are like jello. Yeah, I think that was the last one I did for you. So I think like end of the year, I'm gonna do a whole. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the time because my boyfriend is going to come home and I wanna make him lunch. Anyways, uh, yeah, like a whole tattoo tour video because I have some that I got and that you haven't seen. So I thought that would be fun. And I'm kind of obsessed with tattoo tour videos on YouTube. Like, I search and look for them. <laughs> Even, like, the very... Well, I don't care how many views a video gets. I'll watch it if I'm interested in it. So, like... But it's hard to find low-reviewed ones. So, it's always showing, like, the top searched ones. And I'm like, no, I want to see this for that. Because I love traditional. But I also love how, like... But I have, like, kawaii and really fun old... This actually needs to be, there's a lot that needs to be touched up tattoo-wise. Oh my god. I just like added on to my crap. So I really need to do that one day. Hopefully sooner than later. Be just one flying by. Where did it go? I hear it. I don't even see it. I think it rolled underneath the laptop. Oh well. I'll just... We're going to glue something on that later. I have that stuck in my head that did a full 180. Crazy. That dual Lippa, is that how you pronounce your name? Song? I don't want to pronounce it wrong. People get hella pissed at me. Remember when Gab's our time used to have nice classical jazz music in the background? And she can't do that anymore because of freaking policy shit. Makes me sad. Rip. I found a little rhinestone to throw on there. So yeah, the convention. This is literally like tattoo talk with Gab while she crafts. I'm going to. It's a tattoo convention. And they have people from like Virginia, Baltimore, Washington, Maryland like Pennsylvania local ones in Pennsylvania far away you know catch my catch my flow so oh shit all these are moving I'm just gonna have to glue them on the e6 files would work but it's like moving anyways yeah I would like to get tattooed there obviously I've been tattooed there for the last how many years now two or three years I've been tattooed at that convention. So I'd like to be tattooed at the convention, if I'm able to. If not, I guess it's not end of the world, but it would be really fun to get something. I think if I did anything, I would get my cake fixed, because as we know, I, I hate, this is my like most hated, least favorite tattoo. It's very ugly, um, and it makes me sad. I don't moisturize it i don't condition it <laughs> like it's hair i don't do anything with it because i hate it and i just want it to fade into nothing so yeah maybe someday so yeah that's what i would do next i would fix that up and change it for hopefully the last time because it was a slice of pizza cover up. And then from that, it turned into, I'm gonna be straightforward too. Like that was a learning experience for me. Like if you go to a tattoo artist, 
and they start doing something and you're like not happy with it open your mouth like don't be like and then maybe i'll like it at the end like through the whole fucking tattoo i sat there and i was really disappointed i was just like wow i mean like these are the colors she's using so it's like that opinion in my head wasn't gonna change and i was just like it's very unhappy for the whole thing and then I had um, a shop owner see it from a shop that I normally go to. And their expression for something that I just got done was, like, kind of questionable as well. Also, that was a year ago. And I looked at picture of it, pictures from now to, like, the year, you know, last March when I got it. And, like, I don't get it. Like, I guess that area, like, your ink can come off quicker. I don't know. But... <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy that it's coming off and fading quicker there because it just looks like trash to me. I don't know. I just... I think everybody who has a lot of tattoos has that one that they're just like, they hate. And that's mine. Like, I don't care for it, but it's, you know, obviously there. And, yeah. I don't think I want to do a full cover on it either. I want to just add to it and make it not so dark because i think what she did to this day like this is still like my prediction of it i think what she was doing when ugh, i don't know how to show it to you because okay but i like shit i don't know which way to turn <laughs> anyways it's like ah oh, shit i'm gonna have to stand up i think that's what it's coming down to. i have to stand up okay give me a second <sighs> So the way that it's turned, it's like sideways and I'm laying like this and she did it so she could see directly this. She used like the same colors as that tattoo. I didn't tell her that. Like if I showed you the picture of what I wanted, you would die because it doesn't look like that at all. And she was like, I'm just going to add blah, blah, blah. And it'll look really cute. Also the girl that I had. I thought it was supposed to be my friend's friend, and I got, there's two different girls who work there, and of course I got the wrong one. And I was like, and they were like, oh, well, she's really good too, and I was just like, okay, like, I'll go off of your advice, because you own the shop, so of course you're going to say they're really both good too. And, uh, yeah, I was really unhappy. And I'm not trying to be, like, mean, because I have looked at other work on her page, so this day I still follow her work on Instagram, and it's, like, decent. Can I tell you that she's never from the convention? She didn't post my tattoo. That she did <laughs> because it looks like crap. Do you think she knew it looked like crap? I don't know. I think she did. I think she knew that it looked like crap, and she didn't know what to do at that point. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is I like tattoos and I love the convention. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Like a food thing, you can get food. I think you can get wine or beer. It's nice. I'm gonna put rhinestones on this little teddy bear. His legs popped off before. Put more rhinestones there. What a nice afternoon with my friends, right? Very peaceful. Maybe, I was going to say maybe I'll finish this today, but who the hell knows? Who knows how originally long this is going to take. These um, clusters normally take a while. Just because if I don't have, for instance, like the elephant pieces that I think would look good on it, I don't do anything with it. It's as simple as that.
where is a little red rhinestone? I don't see one. What the hell? That's annoying. <laughs> I'm looking for the size I just used. Oh well. I'll find one then. <sighs> I need to find that size. Soon I'm gonna use a different color. I don't want to, but I will. I'm looking through just like a bunch of random beads and gems and stuff. Seeing if I see anything I like to add. Oh my god, my legs are like cramping. Oh. Oops. Stick that up there. Found some stuff that I've been throwing it into the lid, but trying to look for something real good. My little red ones. I don't know why I don't see any. Ugh! Oh, they're falling. I'm a period so bad yesterday. Now I'm like, cramps are coming back. Stay away, cramps. I do not need that shit in my life. That negative shit. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. PSA, if anybody didn't know, shipping prices went up in January. Again. They did in November and they did in January now. And it's hella irritating the people who online resell. And some of my prices now I'm doing like priority boxes. Which sucks, but I feel bad. And I want like stuff to get there, not damaged, you know? And I think it's around like two day two with priority, so. Versus, I don't know, five, four. Why can't I find this one item that I need? Anybody else that ever happened to? Like, yeah, I'm finding other cool stuff, but not what I intently came here for. That's so irritating. Woo, that's shit falling on the floor. <sighs> And she just kept going, looking for it. I have another bag, and it doesn't have as much in it. I just feel like I'd have a better chance finding it in here. But I guess not. That's the last time I use something without seeing if I have more of it. Ooh, really pretty tiny little diamonds. I just grab those. See, this was worth it going through this, but still... I can't find what I set out to get. Alright, putting that down. Oh my god. It's just like falling off of me. Okay. Let's look here. What is this? Chain. This chain is fun. I'm gonna grab that. In two seconds, I'm about to get another red rhinestone that isn't the same size and be done with it. Can't find it. Pink. Red. There we go. I think that's it. Even if it isn't, I'm using it. Oh my gosh. That was too long. That is not the same size, but I don't care. There we go. All of that work. All these little flock bears, they're fun. I have a pin on top that, I don't know if it got smashed or what exactly happened to it, but there it is. Okay. Oh, that fell when I was doing that thing. 
I'm gonna look in the lid now and see what goodies I have in here. This is a pretty one. It's like white and pink. To use that. I actually think I have a lid up there with a bunch of pretty beads in it too. There we go. Very nice. I have a shell. I'm gonna use that like <laughs> like where do I want to put that? I guess maybe like right at the bottle or something because it's long. That's not bad. It's like a weird shaped shell though. This is pretty, a green bead. Yeah, I'm gonna put that next to there. Okay. This one's kind of cool. It's like flat, sort of. Do that. Yeah, I love these mosaic pieces. Very fun. And just from a pair of shoes, you know? It's like awesome. Instant art. Well, not instant because the gluing takes time and then depending what pieces you want on it. And if the colors go together. A lot of thinking really does go into it. At least on my part, I put thinking into it. Okay. Here we go on that. Here, my heater popping back on. Nice. I'm gonna put a blue rhinestone on top of the white like overlap stuff too because I love the look of it this is actually real qu uh, quartz oh my god turquoise <laughs> oh my gosh that was really funny but I don't know where I'd want to put it maybe with more by the way the inside's like basically dry which is nice so I can touch it when I'm moving it I get freaking glue over my hands. That might be nice right there, actually. Let's take my little turquoise piece. Yeah, I have an art show I want to go to. What the hell is it? The 29th of March? And then I think there's one, a bunch in the beginning, actually. I even just want a bunch in April I want to go to, so. I need to have products to take. Should we get off excess glue? Yeah, I have business cards that should be here today or tomorrow. It's so freaking exciting. I hate that you could see the dried glue on the sides. I have to like peel it off and re-glue it. It's gonna bother me. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to some things, unfortunately. And if I just don't like how it looks, I'm gonna take it apart and redo it. That looks a lot clean. Just didn't like how it looked before. If I find more red, I'm gonna put them for like the little hands too, I think. That'll be cute on there. If I find it. That was hard to even to find what I found. As we know, I was like digging and digging and digging through. Ooh, 
a, this is a pretty blue bead. Let's see. That right there. Yeah, if I see something too that I'm like, eh, I don't like it for the shoe. I mean, the elephant's right here, so I might just plop it over there. Finding, oh, I found this chain before, and I don't know where I would put it, but I like that. I don't know. Maybe at the heel, like wrapping up. That's actually where I started. I kind of feel like that wouldn't look bad. I'd have to see how I'm gluing it though. Like, yeah, but I'd want to have this piece into the back and it's not in the back, it would be into the front. Unless I start Have it go through the birthday. Yes. Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> That's going to look so cute. Yeah, I had made fake birthday candles for another project. Ended up never using them. And I was like, shit, I'm going to use it on here. Because, you know what I mean? Why not? So let's glue our inside piece. And we'll glue this into the heel piece, like right in the side. And I saw a comment rolling. I'm going to grab that in like two seconds. And then we're going to glue right into there. Wrap underneath the candle. Hi, how are you? We're having craft time, as you can see. <laughs> I was trying to add this chain some kind of cool way, and I figured out how to. I love taking stop and making like recycled material craft little odds and ends, so that's what we're doing. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for coming over to say hi. Okay. That's a little like, yeah, but we're going to be putting stuff around it. So it's fine. And that's how it went on that side, which looks really freaking cool. Okay. So let's start adding stuff into that little space. that right to the middle. And then I'm going to add like maybe this on top. Yeah, it's such like a rainy day today where I live, but like I said, I'm sitting next to the heater doing my thing. Maybe I'll make some sales on eBay. Who knows? But just gotta keep trucking. 
So I don't know what else I would do if I didn't. <laughs> I'd be going crazy. Thanks guys for thumbsing up the video. I appreciate it. This is so pretty. It's getting there. Like beads sticking to my legs. I'm looking at the stuff that I put aside to use. This is cool. Ooh, shut up. I wonder if I could put that there, if it would stay. I wanna put this like right onto the front of the shoe. We'll see. I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Shit, that just broke off. Oh well. That I'm not looking forward to. Because we're talking about everything that's been going on. And if my weight went up, which it hasn't. I've been struggling to get my weight up for like two months now. And it sucks, but... I'm trying and that's all that matters at least in my eyes I just gotta go back and see what they advise that I do and I'm kind of pissed that that didn't stick where are my glue sticks a garbage bag here do I have to stand up and get glue sticks I think I do okay I have to get glue sticks. <sighs> As she grasps the table so she doesn't die. I grabbed two different things. I grabbed glue sticks. And this box has like a bunch of crap in it I can use. Little odds and ends. I need a new word instead of using crap, I feel like, but... It's kind of my word. I can't just take away my word, you know. <laughs> There's so much like little glue strings. Okay. Gotta re-glue everything down. It all came apart. Because I didn't have enough glue. I was putting it all down just now. Okay, so let's try that again. I want to put that on an angle. I'll show you the front then. It's going to be so pretty. What the hell was that? What was it though? Why does my house have to be haunted? <laughs> what fell? What the hell fell though? It sounded. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to like re listen to this video now after the live stream. It sounded like somebody opened up one of my drawers. I have no idea. That was really creepy and scary, actually. I want to see the new Sonic the Hedgehog. Probably, I do weird in theaters since I have my condition now. Uh, my legs get, like, crampy like they've been doing when I'm sitting here for too long, like, having them in one position. So, I don't know, but, like, I love overpriced movie theater food. Why the hell is that? I don't know. I might, and I like Jim Carrey, and I thought he was playing Sonic, and I guess he isn't. He's somebody else in the movie, and I don't know who's playing Sonic, but they redid some a different movie like Sonic, didn't they? Kind of the same way. I forget what it was, and I wanted to see that one. Oh, but Pikachu, yeah, and I, with Ryan Reynolds, and I wanted to see that, and a lot of people were like, eh, it looks stupid, but like, this one I actually want to see, because I obviously like Sonic a lot, so... 
I wouldn't mind seeing that in the theaters. But I didn't see the Pikachu movie. I want to. It's probably, I was going to say on Netflix, but Netflix has been getting not very good stuff in lately, so never mind. It won't be on Netflix. <laughs> I'll find it somewhere. I'm going to turn this on the side. The computer went off. Come back. Computer. No offense too, but I like this style of like live stream and doing art and stuff and hanging out with you guys. Only because like I have no makeup on. And it feels nice, and sometimes I feel like I have to put makeup on. Not necessarily to stream, but maybe I don't want to, like, per se, have my face in the camera looking crappy. And, like, obviously just getting over being sick, so I'm, like, washed out as hell. So, yeah, I like this. This is nice. <laughs> Oh, these yellow beads are nice too. I think it would look nice on the trunk though. I have so much um like rhinestone-y stuff on the trunk. I want to try to like break that up with a different kind of style and color. Beautiful 1AD crazy. I know I said I was going to put them on the trunk, but I found a spare place up by the eye. So I decided to go there instead. Nice. That looks really good there. Okay. I'm going to go put him right there. Another yellow. I'm gonna put that right up against there. Okay. Blue is really pretty. Um, I don't know if I wanna put that there though. Put it into the corner. Ow! <laughs> That's the price you get for hot glue gunning, right? Am I right? <laughs> okay. Blue glass bead piece, this is pretty. I'm going to stick that in. There's like a little angel on the side. I'm going to stick that in underneath the wing. Angel. Doesn't look pretty. Okay. Oh, this is pretty too. It's like a mirror. Shiny bead. I think I'm going to put that on the bow too What are you guys up to today? Did you go to work? Did you go to school? Did you do something that felt productive? I feel like if I finish this today I will feel so productive But I don't know I feel like I have enough pieces to finish it But I don't just want to put anything on it Like, if it goes with it, that's one thing. Just glue that to that. Trying to, like, make them stick together on the front better.
Can you get out of here, piece of glue? Come on. There. Oh my god, it's still sticking there. What the hell? Get out. And now it doesn't want to stick there. Oh my goodness, what is happening? <sighs> Crafting is hard work. Sometimes. Depending what you're making. Yeah, the other day I had a bunch of free listings till 12 midnight. So I'm sitting there like trying to go on the laptop and like put up this video for you guys and then on the vlog channel. But then also before 12 midnight, put up a bunch of stuff on my eBay. It was really funny. And I did everything. I was so accomplished. I was like, everything I needed to do, I did it. So proud of myself. Yeah, I'm gonna put one more of these little orange pieces on the back. It's a broken jewelry piece. This was actually from one of my personal jewelry pieces that freaking broke and I was like, eh, use it in art. Use it in an art piece, Gab. And that's what I'm doing. Comment below, or you don't have to if you don't want to, but does anybody listen to this and think of it as ASMR? Because I'd be totally honored if you did. Because I've already had people say, they're like, oh, I listen to it. I just like, you remind me of ASMR, even though it's not like labeled like that. But I like listen to it as ASMR and I'm like, do you? Do you listen to it as a... <laughs> Writes back, puts whispering. Do you? <laughs> I love ASMR, so I'm not hating when I say that, by the way. Like, at all. I love it. So it's all good. I just found this teeny tiny diamond. So I'm going to add it onto my piece. That looks really cute. Wow. I didn't go through that little box yet I brought down either. If you remembered. When I stood up before. I'm still working on all the little random pieces that I have. Ooh. There we go. Alrighty. Hmm. Everything else, except for the shell, looks kind of like basic that I could add. So I'm not going to. I kind of have like a theme sort of with this one. Oh, it's like sticking to my hand. No. Stop. Why is it sticking to my hand? Okay. Yeah, I really love this. It's so pretty. And I love that there's like so many different sections to work on, but then it's obviously gonna like lead up to one. Which is really cool too. These always like turn out super pretty. And I don't know, I just thought it was something fun to do. You know, Valentine's Day, sort of. Even if you like hate Valentine's Day, you can still do this craft.
legs hurt so freaking bad. Ugh. Also, my period cramps hurt, but my leg isn't helping the situation. Let's grab my elephant because uh, I have like a couple pieces I want to put on it. I love this guy. I've had it for over a year unfinished. And whenever, like I said, I'm working on something with like small bits, I look over and I'm just like, hey, what do you need in your life, elephant? I'm going to add to you. Oh my god, this hurts so bad. I need to like stretch it out a bit. Oh, it's two already. Silly me. I didn't even realize it. Okay. Let's add that right there. Will the elephant ever get finished? Find out. Never. I'll never do. <laughs> this is like a really teeny tiny plastic spoon. It's really cute. I think it was glued on something and it fell off. So we're gonna add it. I just don't know where. When you do have, like, this one, I mean, there are some bigger spaces still, but there's a lot of, like, small things that need to be filled in. It kind of gets challenging. You have to start really, like, looking at what you have and what needs to fit there so you can finish it. There we go. Yeah, I'm so mad. I wanted to go to Goodwill yesterday, so then the beginning of my stream. And I have so many freaking donations for them. That's another reason why I want to go so bad. I feel bad. So much crap. Ooh. I don't want to donate. Last time I went, I kid you not, it was like there. And it is like a newer Goodwill, but I just feel like a lot of people aren't donating to it. And that's why it was so bare. I felt so bad. It's like, how are they gonna, they just freaking open, like, stay open to make money if nobody's donating. And I had just done, like I said, a lot of cleaning. I added a bunch of clothes sets onto my eBay. So if you are a size uh, extra small, small, I have some large, and I think I have one lot of medium, but I did not put that up yet. And then I have some more coming. I just added like, like two or three starter lots. I was like, I need to get rid of some stuff. But like, it's in good quality and condition. So I was like, hmm. Do some lots. Okay. Just picking away excess. There's some really pretty, like, ugh, I can't talk, pretty beads. Just, like, looking through this. I feel like I need, like, a tweezer. There we go. A mark in my leg now from it sitting on it. Oh well. That's the price you pay for good art. Mm, I have to get under the neck too. Maybe I'll put this under here. Yeah. I was like, if I can't find ones for the shoe. Let's add to the elephant real quick in hopes that one day it might be done. Just scrolling through my eBay one day. Also, you should put on my, you should follow me on there if you have an eBay. I love eBay. It's 
I'm always putting up new stuff. But you're just like following me one day and you're like, oh my god, you can she open. Because he'll be for sale once he's done. I um I don't keep a lot of my art that I make. I just sell it to others to enjoy. Um there's like one art piece that I kept, which sorry, I just received a phone call. So that is where I went for a second. But I am going to go now. Because like I said, I have to make someone a delicious lunch. But whoa, what just fell off? What just fell off? Oh well. Really cool. I can't wait until the day that's done. Shit sticking to my leg. And then this is the heel. The inside obviously dried from painting it. That's the one side I did so far. The other side. And then that side. Uh, maybe I'll come back later with a part two. Oh my gosh, it just fell over. <laughs> maybe I'll come back. I was like, does it stand on its own? It stands on its own. Maybe I'll come back later for a part two. Uh, it might be tomorrow. I'm not like 110% yet when it will be but thank you for coming in for watching if you're watching it present future past i just obviously appreciate you and like i said in the beginning if you want more um exclusive like content one-on-one -on -one, everyday stuff with me and you just enjoy watching my youtube channel and my videos and you want to support me you can sign up for a dollar daily newsletter uh it's 18 plus over on my patreon uh, there is a link to get over there in the description and, um, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you later.